Joining me now on the line from New York is Mr. Richard Fora. He's author of Breakthrough, Transforming Fear into Compassion. Thank you very much for being on the top five, Mr. Fora. Now, first of all, what do you think about the timing of this announcement and this deal worth $10 billion uh, of weapons between the U.S. and Israel? Well, I mean, it's not at all surprising, I mean, and, it, and it comes... It comes soon after Obama's visit to Israel, and also while John Kerry and Chuck Hagel are in the Middle East. It's simply the um, United States once again pandering to Israel's uh, determination to maintain superiority over all of its neighbors. I mean, there's no inherent um, uh, problem with wanting to be superior to your neighbors in various ways. It's just that this superiority enables Israel to maintain its illegal occupation uh, over the Palestinian people, which also antagonizes all of its Arab neighbors. And so the United States, what it's doing is it's ensuring that Israel will not have to make peace, because as long as Israel has the means to maintain its occupation, uh, it won't make peace. It'll, it'll maintain the occupation. And also, the, this was a signal to Iran. Uh, that uh, the United States is not screwing around, that Israel is going to have all these advanced weapons to uh, make sure that if they do attack Iran, they'll be able to do it more successfully than they would have without these weapons. So, Mr. Fora, quickly, if you can, do you think there is a relation uh, to the Syria crisis as well? Because we've been seeing at the same time the announcement of the easing of uh, the embargo, or the oil embargo on the militants, and uh, calls for more weapons to the militants there. We've been hearing a lot from Syria of Israel's involvement there. Um, yeah, I'm sure there is a relationship to the Syrian crisis. I mean, who knows what's going to happen? The entire Middle East could get embroiled in that. Uh, Iraq, there's, there's worries that Iraq, that the civil war in Syria could spill over into Iraq, for example. And, uh, you know, once, once war gets really, uh, re really rolling th throughout the region, uh, other things could take place. I mean, other resentments could rise up, and, and then Israel could be, uh, become a, um, a target for, for some of the militants. But, you know, the real, the, the real way to avoid all the death and destruction that's going on is to try to make, really try to make peace, to do what is necessary to make peace. And that does not include giving Israel the means not to make peace, because that's really what this arms sale is doing. It's, it, without the money, without the aid that the United States gives Israel, yeah. Israel simply would not have the financial means to prolong its it's now 46 year, near, nearly 46 year occupation of the Palestinian people, which enrages the Arab world. You know, because mm -hmm. remember in 2002 and again in 2007, uh, the Saudi Arabia peace initiative was offered to Israel, which yeah. would have been a full peace with full diplomatic relations, security guarantees for all the states of the region, right. and the acceptance of Israel by the entire Arab and Muslim world. Mr. Richard Fora, author of Breakthrough, Transforming Fear into Compassion, joining us there on the line from New York. Thank you very much.